Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode and thanks so much for tuning in. Also be sure to like, subscribe and share and follow us on Facebook and Twitter also. So we have several big themes here at the AI Guide, but one of the most important ones is exponential. Why? Because AI is an exponential technology, meaning that it goes through a long deceptive phase where it doesn't seem like much is happening. And then all of a sudden, if you will, there's huge rapid ongoing change getting faster and faster and faster. That's what an exponential is. And Let's talk about a couple of other examples of exponential because it'll really give you a good idea. So um, the cell phone that you hold in your hand today is as powerful as all of the computers available to Bill Clinton when he was president of the United States in the 1990s. Your one cell phone as powerful as every computer available to the President of the United States during the 1990s. That gives you a clear picture of exponential technology, but it's not the only one. Another one besides cell phones is computers. So computers, when they first started out, the original Mac or IBM PC had a floppy disk drive. You had to stick this big square disk in it that had the operating system on it, the, the Microsoft uh, operating system. And once the operating system was loaded, you took that one out, put another big square disk in, and that's what your files were stored on. That computer had absolutely no memory or processing capability compared to anything today, none. Yet at the time, it was a complete breakthrough and people were amazed, but it was the first computer that didn't fill up an entire big room as a mainframe or uh, a, a, what they called a mini computer that was really not many. It was a mid-sized computer. And then we saw Intel rapidly improve uh, its chips and therefore the computers evolved and the 286 came out, then the 386, then the 486, and on and on. So that a laptop today is more powerful than a supercomputer was in the 1990s. So those are two things that are related and obviously dependent on processor speed, but they show you just how dramatic the improvements have been. So if you can take this little device that's as powerful as a supercomputer was only 20 years ago, think about that, 20 to 25 years ago, it's astounding. So why are we talking again about this overarching theme of exponential technologies? Because AI is an exponential technology in itself, but it is also an enabling technology for other exponential technologies. And we've talked about those, robotics, sensors, computer vision, um, and many other things are going to be dramatically accelerated by AI, but they themselves are, for other reasons, being dramatically accelerated. So when we think about what has happened with computers and cell phones, the first smartphone, the Apple, original Apple iPhone, only came out 13 years ago. 13, and now you've got a better camera on your cell phone today 
than existed on the planet 10 years ago. These are super examples of exponential technologies. And why are we talking about this again? Because you need to fasten your seatbelt. So one of the things we've talked about with exponential technologies is the hockey stick, where the flat part goes on and on, and then it hits a, a corner, and it goes almost straight up and accelerates very, very quickly. This is the classic uh, symbol that people use to describe exponential technologies is the hockey stick. Where that sharp curve is, it's called an inflection point in technologies, and we're now past that in AI. It was probably last year, if not the year before, but we're past the inflection point. That means that advances related to AI and caused by AI are going to become very visible and extremely disruptive. So we've talked a lot about how um, massive job displacement is going to come because of AI. And in the very next video, we're going to give a very specific current example of that. But we also know that new jobs that aren't even known right now will be created. And in the last 10 years, certainly new jobs have been created. One of those is data science and data scientists. That did not exist more than 10 years ago, not in the sense that it does now. And it was enabled by cloud computing, which allowed the building and aggregation of huge databases and data sets. Cloud computing, which was the next iteration beyond individual computing, has changed everything, and it is what allowed the creation of the first working neural net in 2012 and its rapid iteration and improvement up to 2015 when it became widely available to academics and high-end industry like IBM and stuff like that. So all of this is to say that we need to be prepared because the rate of change every single year from here on the rest of this decade, it's 2021, early 2021 still, uh, to 2030 is going to see profound, unimaginable changes in the world. And that will be good, and that will be tough for people. In fact, uh, there's a very smart man who I won't name, but he's extremely smart. And this man in technology has foretold many, many things that have happened. And no, I'm not talking about Ray Kurzweil, who also has an incredible, incredible accuracy of predict predicting what happens in technology in the world. I'm not talking about Ray Kurzweil. I'm talking about someone else. But this guy says that we are going to know the 2020s as the transition tribulation, which means severe societal disruption. So it's important that we prepare. And the AI Guide have been telling you for a while that we are going to provide resources. Our first resource is available. Click the link at, at the end of the video, uh, and you will get our first free resource that will allow you to learn more about AI in a more structured way, which is different than what we do here. Here, our focus is entirely on the human aspect of AI. What is happening with AI, how it affects people, how it will affect people. Um, but if you just want to learn straight AI and what it is in more technical terms, but understandable, this, these are entry-level overviews for anyone even if you're not familiar with AI, you can get our free resource and 
then you will be able to uh, utilize that resource to understand AI even better. And that's critical because understanding is the first step to knowledge and knowledge is power. So uh, please subscribe uh, to that resource. It's there to help you. Hopefully you find it helpful. And next time, as I said, we're going to talk about a very specific disruption going on right now in the labor markets caused by AI. Thanks a lot. Take care. Talk to you soon.